Well, the spotted lanternfly is an invasive species that's native to China, but they can now be found all over the state of Ohio and the Toledo area. You can be part of the effort here to put a stop to the spread of this so-called destructive plant pest. 13 Action News reporter Lisa Guyton live with the story and all the new details tonight. Lisa. Lee and Diane, we went to a neighborhood in Toledo this morning and saw spotted lanternflies everywhere. We also met a neighbor who is working to be part of the solution when it comes to these invasive insects. This tree near Airline in Detroit is covered in spotted lanternflies. It's the same story in a lot of places around the area. Amy Stone is an extension educator with the Ohio State University Lucas County Office. We found individual adults that were reported last year, but we're finding full-blown infestations this year. According to the Ohio Department of Agriculture, the spotted lanternfly was first found in the U.S. in Pennsylvania nearly a decade ago. It was confirmed in Ohio in 2020. Experts say they likely arrived in America with imported goods and they continue to spread by hitching rides. Railways, um, trucks, even vehicles. So if you go and visit somebody in a heavily infested area, they can jump on your vehicle or in your vehicle. And then when you get home, you open up your vehicle, they jump out. Pat Harrison started researching the insects after spotting them for the first time a couple years ago in her Toledo neighborhood. This year was like three, four times as bad as last year. And last year they were a lot. They're all over everything this year. I mean, I can't sit on the swing set, one land in my hair, on my shirt or my pants. So I smack them and on the ground and then I squash them. And that's exactly what experts want you to do. The USDA says the insect is a threat to fruit crops and trees. Stone says one of their favorite trees is the one we found them on today. Another invasive species in Ohio called the tree of heaven. So they also feed on the sugars of the plant and so they process those sugars and they uh, produce an excrement called honeydew, which is kind of just what it sounds like. It's something sweet. And so what happens is everything below where they're feeding becomes sticky and sweet. Black sooty mold comes in and kind of covers everything. And you may see some wasp and hornets flying around because they're attracted to that excrement. Stone and others from the OSU Lucas County Extension Office are out several times a month trying to learn more about the insect. In addition to asking you to kill spotted lanternflies, they're also asking you to be on the lookout for their eggs this fall. We're waiting on the egg masses that are being produced right now, and we're going to encourage citizens to go outside and scrape and remove the egg masses to reduce that population that would hatch next spring. Now, the lantern flies begin laying their eggs in October. You're being asked to report any you find to the Ohio Department of Agriculture. We'll post links with how to do that and everything else you need to know about the insects on our webpage. Diane?